Hola a todos. Bienvenido a Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. My name is Brad. Ha! This lecture is called Else. What? So in this lecture, we're going to be continuing from where we left off in our previous lecture, which was PHP if statements. So open up your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder. We are in 11 else. In your code editor, open the practice and final.php files under your else folder. The practice is where you're going to be building the final example and final.php is the final example itself that you can use for reference. Here is what the final example looks like. Boom. So, you like oranges. Very impressive PHP script we've got going on here. I know it looks a little small and silly, but we're actually using PHP if and else to get this result. So let's jump into our lecture to find out what's happening here. So we figured out how to execute some code if an expression evaluates to true. But what about when the expression evaluates to false? Often, you'll want to execute some code if a certain condition has not been met. So this is where else comes into play. Look at else as an extension of the if statement. The syntax looks like this. If expression is true, code to execute if true. Else, code to execute if false. Now let's take a look at a real world example. So in our PHP script, we've got our variable favfruit equals orange. If favfruit is equal to pineapple, echo, yay, pineapple is the best, because it is. Else, this is where we're using the else, Echo, so, you like oranges. So basically, we're checking to see, hey, is your favorite fruit pineapple? If it is, then you're awesome. You're on the pineapple team. Otherwise, you probably like oranges, which is disappointing. Unless they're Florida oranges. Those are very good. Now, wait a minute. You probably noticed something a little funny here. In our if statement, we have this double equal sign. That was not a typo. That was very intentional. So let's explain why. Not all equals are created equal. It's good to remember that the double equal sign is different than the single equal sign. The former means is equal to, while the latter assigns a value to a variable. So for example, if I were to write in PHP, if fave fruit and then the single equal sign pineapple this will always evaluate to true because the single equals symbol assigns the value into the variable rather than comparing it so the double actually compares the variable to the value on the other side of the symbol whereas the single equals sign actually assigns the value to the variable. So here's, here's it in, uh, in practice. The single equals symbol. We're assigning orange to fav fruit, whereas here we're comparing fav fruit or the value of fav fruit, which is orange, to pineapple. So if fav fruit is equal to pineapple rather than fav fruit equals pineapple because then we're just going to be replacing the, the value of the variable with pineapple rather than orange. So we'll always evaluate to true. So keep in mind, single equals is not equal to double equals. Hopefully that made sense. All right, so let's jump into our code editor and start doing some code. So in your practice.php file, let's add our constants and our variables, everything we've been doing so far. This one, the title is else and we're gonna add our custom variables. That will be your name and the lesson number, which is 11 in the context of our Code Dynamic Websites course files. Now, the one important variable that we're gonna be doing here is the fave fruit variable. So fave fruit orange. Cool, so let's add our constants and all that sort of good stuff here like we've been doing. This should be like a cakewalk for you now. We're adding our title. I'm going to copy that, do the same old, same old, paste it in here. We have our lesson number. Let's add that variable, echo, lesson number. You can see here in Coda 2, it recognizes that I've already defined that variable, so it gives me a little quick 
um, shortcut to be able to just hit enter and add that variable because it's already been defined. So if you're using Coda 2, pretty cool, helps you speed up your coding. Year, let's add our year, PHP echo, date, the year, and our name, use the PHP echo, my name variable. We're good to go there. Now we're gonna start doing our if and else statements right here in our sandbox. So in there, add your PHP script, and then start with an if statement. There's the skeleton. Now compare fave fruit to pineapple. All right, so in here, we're gonna echo something if this statement happens to be true, and we'll say, yay, pineapple is the best. Like I said, because it is the best. Else, this is where we're using else, right after the if statement, after the, the, the closing curly bracket, add else, and then open and close your curly brackets again. In there, we're gonna be adding our, uh, what happens if it is false, echo. So, you like oranges. All right, so save that, and check out the practice.php file. Final example. Check out your example. So you like oranges. So that's it. So feel free now to just change the variable here or what you're comparing it to. Maybe even let's say your favorite fruit is pineapple, which is my favorite fruit. So now if I save that, let's see what happens. Yay, pineapple is the best. See, pretty cool. So that is the else statement. You tag it on to the end of your if statement, and then you have an even better knowledge of how to use PHP. If and else is super powerful. So I'll see you in the next lecture.